On this kid safari, I learned how to ride a bike without training wheels. When you first learn to ride, you start with a tricycle usually, then to a bike with training wheels. Eventually, you take off the training wheels and learn how to ride a bicycle. My dad ran with me to keep me safe. Took a lot of work to get balance. Mom, did you see it? I recorded it. Because this can be a good kid <laughs> safari, and then we have that first moment of you riding really well on your own, on camera. Yeah! Over and over, I would ride little bit by little bit, with my dad running right beside me. And by little bit by little bit, I would learn balance. Perfect, perfect. Whoa! Perfect. And when I got balance, I could start riding for longer distances, and even turning around. My old bike was getting too small. So I got a new bike from my Nana and Papa for Christmas. And now I'm riding all the time. Hi, Dada. Hi, little buddy. So Lysander is at six years old. And for a long time, he had a bike with training wheels like this one. And it could stand up and help you ride with the training wheels in the back and help you stand. But you don't go very fast that way, huh, Lily? No. Is it way more fun going without training wheels? Yeah. So we did a lot of practicing, right? Yep. I'm balancing and I still fall over. But that's okay, because everybody makes mistakes. That's, right, Dada? That's right. So, um, I used to have a red little bike, but my dad said that's too small. So, um, my, my Nana and Papa got me this new bike. And it's, and it's fast, very fast. Look at the wheels. They have really good grip on stuff. Boy, they sure do. So step one is getting onto your bike. Yeah. And if your bike's a little bit tall, it might be a little bit tough. So yeah. go ahead, show them how to get on the bike. So. Might be easiest for brand new folks to have one pedal up, one pedal down. So you put your foot up like this, and so you're like on that. But first. And then you can balance on, on a foot. And then. And then push off and, and pedal. Off. Push off. Speed is your friend. You have to get speed. Yeah. That's how you balance. Yeah. So I know it sounds scary to go fast. I so, just fall over. See? Well, yeah. Because if I go slow, you can I stop, stop without falling over, right? Yeah. If I go fast or kind of like in the mid medium, I. I can do it more good, right? Mm hmm Because that's how you ride a bike. Step two. You're on the bike. What you do, you have to pedal fast. And I'll show you how to do that. It takes lots of practice. Yeah. Try and try and try over and over and over. Yeah. Get and your you pedals going. You do it for like, like five times, you still go. Right? That's right, don't give up. You don't give up, you have courage and just keep going. That's right. Until you get it and you show, and then if you want, you can show people how you do it. So once you get going, your next step is? Speed, you need speed. And so you need to go straight, yeah. learning to ride straight. Or at least as close to straight as possible. Yeah. Go down to the cul-de-sac. Okay. Then what's really good is learning to turn. Yep. Cul-de-sacs are great for this because they're big, wide circles. 
Go down to the big wide circle, I. Okay, I'll show you the. He's learned how to turn in a sharper spot, but when he was first learning to turn, it was really tough. So we went to a cul-de-sac, and so he had a big wide space to learn how to turn. And you start learning to turn smaller and smaller over time. And now, Lysander's learned to turn really sharp. So when you're done riding, you need to learn how to brake so you can stop. Some bikes have brakes on the handles, and some bikes, like Lysander's, are brakes by pedaling backward. See? It's always good to try to catch yourself with How your feet. How do you do like a, a brake with the handles? They have little squeezy things. They come out and you squeeze them and it breaks. It actually has a cable that goes down the bike to a device on the wheel. And when you pull that, it tightens that and pinches the wheel. My brakes on my bike are like that. But a lot of kid bikes are backward pedal brakes, like yours. Yeah. So when you get off, Go ahead, show them how to get off. And then you can use your kickstand. <coughs> can you do the kickstand, Lila? You can actually kick it with your foot to knock it down, or you just reach down and push it with your hand. There. And now the bike should stand nice and safe so it doesn't fall over and get banged up and such. Yeah. So what are you wearing, Lila? Helmet. Why do you wear a helmet? Because if you fall off, you can crack your head open. And we don't want that, right? And then you could get something inside your head and get a, a brain surgery. Well, yeah, we don't want a brain surgery. <laughs> no. no, especially me. I hate brain surgeries, so even we, seeing them on TV. So we always wear a helmet, right? Yeah. Whenever we ride a bike, we wear a helmet to stay safe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are some good tips for riding bikes, right? I have another tip. Okay, if what's that? If you want to show off people a trick about a bike. Okay. You don't have to pedal. Whee! You just lift your legs up, huh? Yep, and when you, it's slowing down, you do that. Next, trick two. Oh, car. Well, there's a good tip. Oh, that's... <laughs> Always be mindful of cars. Yeah. Pull over to the side to stay safe. Yeah. Okay. Back to the tricks. Going one-handed? Yeah. Yeah, one day you'll be able to ride with no hands. Oh. That's hard, huh? I think it's Well, we'll get there with lots of practice and being really good at biking first. Yeah, I, I guess I always... Thanks for watching Kids Party. Hope you like our videos. <laughs>